Hey guys, you might Aris Tao here. Today we are going to look into ADS200. To show you guys what's the difference, I will compare the light quality between S200 and the square head. You can see the original square head will focus the light in relevantly a narrow angle in small areas. The S200 will glow in 360 degrees, which makes it a perfect fuel light to lit up a large area. In this scenario, you can see that with gray head, I wouldn't be able to lit up this whole wall with two meters apart. But with S200, I certainly can I deliver an even spreaded light to mimic the sun. Because the light bulb design, the lights are so even spreaded out with no hot spots. This makes S200 very skin friendly. When you compare the two lights over the human skin, you can see S200 tends to make the skin close a bit with a bit more fashion look. This is a typical indoor scenario, but unfortunately it's too much contrast, right? If you want to correctly expose the background, you'll find this balcony is underexposed. What I did from here is to use two S200. The beauty of S200 is it's lighting 360 degrees. Some of the lights will kiss in our face directly. Some of the lights will bouncing off the wall and ceiling and go back to her. So you have this nice mixture of soft and harsh light source all together. As you see, it's a bit too dark in the train. I just use the lights to bounce off the ceiling. So she has this beautiful fuel lights everywhere in this train. That pretty much helps to fix the color cast of the ambient lights in the train. And then I play around with the lights. I feel like it would be nice to have a stick near her face as a key light. So her face stands out to be the focus in this photo. Because the light is so even, I don't even need any modifiers. Because it's a narrow space, I just don't have the heart to use a softbox in the train. But you know what? The bare bulb works like a charm. So you guys see, it's a very common scenario. You know, the roof is cutting through patches of sun over this wall, which makes a beautiful pattern. Now you guys can probably see in the video that my lower body is in deep shadow and there's lots of highlights over my faces. And in the shadow area, probably under the nose, under the neck, under the eye socket, there will be lots of harsh shadows. Which means we can use S200 as a great fuel light here, right? We can have two fuel lights over here. One fuel lights in general to lift up the shadow area of the wall of the dress pretty much over everything. And we can have the second fuel lights particularly dedicated for the shadow area of the skin, such as the shadow under the nose, under the neck, or under the socket and there will be some nice catch lights in her eyes as well. Her bundle really helps. We'll place the lights here. The bundle will make sure there's not much light spill on the floor, which will be a distraction.
S200 can be used as key lights as well. Here I will attach the bomb door as well as half CTO to mimic a patch of sound. You can see the image comes up. It's very much like a beauty shot. It's a very typical scenario. The patch of sun will only hit on part of her face as well as her watch or earring. Traditionally, this technique has been widely used in the in-studio beauty shots or jewel shots. But you know what? With S200, which is so easy to move around, we can do this kind of shot in any location. It's pretty tight in the lift. If I use softbox, I wouldn't be able to fit. So I place S200 over my head. Some of the lights were directly hitting on her face and some of the lights were bouncing off this wall and sitting as ambient to give her some few lights. With one light, you can absolutely do the job with five mix of harsh lights as well as soft lights. But I decided to add an extra S200 to have a narrow light beam just to add some extra texture. All right, guys, you see it's a very narrow space, right? There's a patch of the sun cutting by the windows from the back as a hair light or as a separation light. The problem is it's very tight car. It's relevantly very dark too. S200 is perfect to be used as a fuel light in this scenario because it's so light and it's relevantly small to fit in narrow space. I have one S200 in front of the model to mimic some ambient light bouncing off the sun. I will have a second S200 here as a fuel light to lead up the shadow details of her face. By putting S200 down there as a fuel light, it's going to lift the shadow details of her face. Now the problem is the way she poses herself, her right leg is too close to the light. Of course you can change the pose, but the way I deal with this problem is change my lighting. Just put S200 next to the window. By simply change the S200 from the passenger seat to the window, S200 can be used to act like a patches of sunlight kiss on her face. That works very well too. I'm a huge fan of antique building. Uh, I love the texture, the color, everything about it. But the problem is, you see here, it's a bit too dark, right? If you like to shoot soft, beautiful natural light, it's fine. But for me personally, I feel like it's a lack of contrast and it's a bit too dark. For that reason, I had S200 in between the two pillars with a bomb door and a CTO to mimic the sun. Because of its size, it makes it so easy to fit S200 in a tight space. Because of the light is evenly lit, you can see there's no hot spots on her face.
Here's another typical scenario. You see the sun is passing through the leaves, right? And casting these beautiful shadows on the wall. The problem is, in the shadow area, because the sun is passing through the leaves, there is some green cast in the shadow area. S200 will solve two problems. Number one is the shadow too deep and too black. Personally, I feel it's too destructive for my kind of tastes. Another problem is because the sun is passing through the leaves, especially on the shadow area, the skin tends to have this green cast, which is very destructive. Because S200 has this accurate white balance, the lights from S200 will fix the green cast issue as well. So you see, S200 is a nice addition to the 8200 family. Whenever you need this even feel light in narrow space, and S200 delivers these beautiful lights. Because of its size, it's so easy to hide anywhere in the corner, as you can see. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is your mind Aristotle. I will see you the next time.